Charging at home when you have a garage, that's easy. But what do you do when you live in an apartment? Hello, hello. Welcome to Hoist Garage again. Here I am sitting in a Volkswagen ID3 and the question is, why am I sitting in this thing? Well, it's because I called a friend of mine and we started to talk about cars and electric cars. Hello there. Long time no see. Long time no see. Yes. So how did the conversation go? It was something like this. Hello, Yamak. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. Um, I were thinking that you should uh, change your car and buy something electric. Well, what do you think about that? I have been considering it actually, but it is, you know, I live in an apartment and uh, an apartment? outside of my apartment, I don't have any easy charging uh, possibilities. All right, so the cable out through the window trick, well, we can give it a try, but you don't think that will work. But I mean, you don't make gasoline in your kitchen, right? Uh, no. no, I go so to where the... do you th Yes, exactly. So where do you think you will find energy to your electric car? I need to go to a charging station. Let's give it a try. So here we have the ID3 outside my friend's apartment and she has just gotten hold of a long wire, electric cable. Let's see how this works. <clears throat> Hello up there. Hi. <laughs> Can you connect? Let's see how it works. Let's see if it works. Yes. Plugged in? Yes. Okay, I will go to the car, take a look. And here it's plugged in. This cable did not come with the car, I had to ask for it. It is not original or standard equipment, but the green is light. Look there. So I will take a look inside the car. So let's see here. Okay, now it started. Very good. I think you can see it charges with okay it's not in kilowatt it's uh, kilometers per hour so seven kilometers per hour we have 58 percent of the battery so to get us to 80 percent would take us six hours mm, that's that's not very quick at all but um, let's see we will um, See if we can find a quicker charger somewhere in the uh, area because uh, having the cable on the street like that, mm, no, nah, not so good. That cable we will uh, put in the trunk or we have put it in the trunk. So I said now, well, look for the charging map on your phone. And we are looking at that now. So where about can we find a charger nearby? I think it's quite close, just around the corner. Just around the corner, let's go. Let's see. Maybe we're lucky. Right, left, where? Left. Left, and it's supposed to be here somewhere, um, according to the map. Um, sure. I think here, just here on your. There oh, it yeah. is. Here we have something. Okay. Yes. So this was Swift, just <laughs> one minute away from your apartment. We found this charging spot. There are quite a few chargers. How many is it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So at least 12 chargers, very nearby. Uh, let's give it a try. Good. So far so good. But I think there's a big but here. The question is where is the coin slot? It's not with coin slots anymore. It says something that you should have an application. Do you have that? So first time this isn't all that easy but uh, now there's an application downloaded and it's been connected to the card and it's spinning. Let's see if things will connect or not. So the charging for us doesn't start just like that. Uh, this <laughs> is a bit weird. There are cars just standing here without charging. No cable, and this is not even an electric car at all. Half of them are not electric cars. Absolutely ridiculous, this. No cable, no electric car, diesel. Here's an electric car, but no cable. This is not an electric car, so the only one that is really charging is this one. This is absurd. 
Ah oh well, crap, this didn't work at all. Yeah. So we will go to another place. Yeah, apparently it does work because, or it should work because there's a car next to us that, well, it charges. Uh, for us it didn't work and the application is just one of the five in rating, so maybe it's a bit of a hassle to get it to work. Uh, anyhow, we're going to a supermarket where we think there should be a charger. It might even be for free. Let's see. So we're down at the supermarket and over there in front of us we see some charging stations. So let's see how this works. So next place, same supermarket but another um, charging port. A bit weird. Anyhow, let's see how this works. Yeah, plugging it in. Yeah, go. Okay. And here. Oh, let's hope for the best. It's blinking green. Good. What? <laughs> no, this is not for free either. You have to charge with the supermarket. Get, no, yeah, with the supermarket credit card, or you have to download an application, of course, or there's some other way to do it. Uh huh. And we won't do that right now. That should also work, but that's for another day. Okay, in theory, this should work also. Then we go to the next place. One thing that we talked about is that, um, well, how much do you really have to charge during a week? And you drive, how long do you drive every, every day typically? Um, back and forward around uh, to the office. Say twenty kilometers. Only twenty kilometers per day. Yes. That's not so much. And even if it would have been maximum, third... I would say maybe even fifteen. Oh yeah, yeah. But um, let's say some other guys they might have to drive some thirty, forty kilometers um, typically. So um, if you live in an apartment like that, yeah, sure. Then times five, so. You would, and then you do some weekend little detour here and there. So typically, you wouldn't have to drive more than some 150 to 200 kilometers per week, probably. Um, not even. That. You would not wouldn't... even drive that much. No, no, no. Okay, but it's cool with an electric car, though. An electric car is actually made for someone like me. Hmm. However, as I as we discuss, it's the problem with charging it. That makes yeah, it and difficult. that's what we're investigating right now. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the car mm. has a little computer, and one can see vehicle charging. Is that the thing? No, data. So according to the data, the car takes about twenty-two kilowatt hours per hundred kilometers. So. Uh, yeah, okay, if you drive 200 during a week, then you would have to charge it with 44 kilowatt hours. Okay. Now, those charging points where there's just, yeah, it happens to be 22 kilowatt in power, then you have to sit there. No, you don't have to sit there, but the car has to stay there for, for two hours then, right? Yeah. So, two hours at the supermarket or two hours at that other parking area, then, then you're done for the week. Hmm? Oh, well, interesting. So, over the bridge, searching for power. So, here we have a proper gas station. Let's see how this works. Look at that, there are charging stations over to the left. Let's go there. So, here we have a Polestar 2 and a Tesla charging and if everything goes as secured then our ID3 comes in here slowly slowly she doesn't like to uh, reverse as you can see so she doesn't like the ID3 because the charging lid is at the rear but here she comes slowly slowly good hi is the charging for free here no uh, not any longer <laughs> no any longer aha they've changed it but it would. Ah, okay, I see. So now you have to have some application and then. No credit card? Uh, I think so. Uh huh. So, believe it or not, but now there is a green light for charging, and this was not something that I would recommend any friend of mine. It has been a long uh, 
uh, attempt to get this to work. Uh, installing application, registering uh, payment card and then the application uh, was wrong and I had to redo it and I had to get into the counter and the guy there didn't really know how it worked and then I reinstalled and it was ah, uh, a bit of a nightmare. But now, <clears throat> believe it or not, it is charging and it is not for free. It is <laughs> a payment to the uh, credit card that I've had to register. As you heard the other Polestar guy saying that it uh, it was free, but it's no longer free. And well, that's the way it is, of course. Okay, let's see how much power we get into the car. Just a second. Yeah, believe it or not, but now it is really charging. And it's charging with uh, three kilometers, not per hour, but per minute. So now we're talking, now it's charging quite well. And I'm not at the 150 kilowatt charger well the car can't take 150 kilowatt anyhow but i'm at the 50 kilowatt charger and i would have to be here at in 30 for 30 30 minutes now as you can see it's a bit interesting we are we were three cars charging here and there's maybe just one car about to fuel up so um it's a bit funny here at this place there are more cars charging than there are uh, cars filling up with petrol Yeah, so <clears throat> it worked, you saw it. It was a bit of a hassle to get the application to work, but uh, now it's in the phone and it's uh, linked to the credit card and... Uh, uh, anyhow, long and story. And it's functioning. <laughs> and it worked, we got, uh, <laughs> we got electricity into the car. So <clears throat> they had four charging stations there and there were electric cars coming and going. So there were more cars on the electric chargers than, than there were on the fuel pumps. That's a bit... That's uh, strange, but that's the way it was. And uh, this is just a Monday evening, nothing special. Um, now, <laughs> that way. <laughs> now, <laughs> so I think that uh, it is proven anyhow that you can live in an apartment and have an electric car. You go there and you charge, and this car will not take the full 150 kilowatts, but you will charge your car with, what was it? It was charging with over 50 kilowatts at least and what would we said that you needed 44 kilowatt hours per week so you would have to stand there and wait for maybe three quarters of an hour and then it's done so what do you do then well you read a paper or you solve some email or you send some emails on the phone and so on so yes you still have to wait a bit but um, what do you think you Look, could manage yes uh, I, I can also imagine that uh, now we didn't test it but there must be shopping centers oh probably. yes yes so there you are. can combine charging of yes. your car together with your with weekend the, chores with a little remark though here we could get at least a bit over 50 kilowatts at the uh, supermarket for instance we could charge with 22 22 is a typical uh, supermarket charging uh, power anyhow I think we're a bit happy it worked you can live in an apartment and have an electric car and uh, now we're going to make a little time travel we're going to drive into the future so which year is this there are charging stations all over the place Uncountable. So I'm on the road again. I have dropped off my friend at her apartment and I'm heading back to Hoy's garage. I uh, will make a stop on the way home to uh, give it some free charge. I think I will find something. And as you can see, here it charges with 52 kilometers per hour. That's also a unit, but okay. Oh yeah, it works. Good. Yeah, at last. Hassle-free charging. It's not always like that. Yeah, hope you found this interesting. Thanks for watching. Uh, there will be more. Bye-bye.